In the heart of a bustling African village nestled along the coast, there lived a skilled fisherman named Kwame. He was renowned throughout the land for his prowess with the fishing net and his tales of the sea. Every day at the break of dawn, he would set out in his weathered wooden boat, casting his net into the sparkling waters of the ocean. One warm evening, as the sun dipped below the horizon, Kwame was preparing to call it a day when he heard a melodious voice singing from the depths of the sea. Mesmerized by the enchanting melody, Kwame leaned over the edge of his boat, straining to catch a glimpse of the singer. To his astonishment, rising from the crystal clear waters was the most breathtaking creature he had ever laid eyes upon. A mermaid with shimmering scales and eyes like pools of liquid gold. Brave fisherman, the mermaid called out, her voice as sweet as honey. I have watched you from afar and I am captivated by your skill and bravery. Will you not come and join me beneath the waves where we can live together? in eternal bliss. Kwame's heart raced with excitement at the prospect of such an adventure. He had always dreamed of exploring the depths of the ocean, and the mermaid's offer seemed like a dream come true. Without hesitation, he reached out to take her hand, ready to plunge into the unknown. But just as their fingertips brushed, a sudden gust of wind whipped across the water, stirring up the waves and breaking the spell. Kwame blinked, his senses returning, and he pulled his hand back just in time. For in that fleeting moment, he caught a glimpse of something sinister lurking behind the mermaid's beguiling facade, a hunger dark and insatiable. Realizing the danger he had narrowly escaped, Kwame hastily drew back, his heart pounding in his chest. I am sorry, beautiful creature, he said, his voice trembling with newfound resolve, but I cannot go with you. My place is here, among the waves and the wind, where I belong. The mermaid's eyes flashed with anger, her enchanting smile twisting into a snarl. Foolish mortal she hissed, her voice echoing with menace. You dare to defy me? You will regret this day for eternity. With that, the mermaid vanished beneath the waves, leaving Kwame alone in his boat, shaken but unharmed. As he sailed back to shore, he couldn't shake the feeling of dread that lingered in the air, a reminder of the peril he had narrowly escaped. Weeks passed, and Kwame tried to put the encounter with the mermaid behind him. But try as he might, he couldn't forget the haunting melody of her voice or the allure of her otherworldly beauty. And then, one fateful day, as he was mending his nets on the shore, he heard a soft voice calling his name. Turning around, Kwame's breath caught in his throat as he beheld the most exquisite sight a woman with skin like caramel and eyes as dark as the midnight sky, standing before him. She was the very image of the mermaid, transformed into human form. My dear fisherman, she said, her voice soft and melodious, forgive me for startling you. I have come to apologize for my earlier behavior and to offer you a token of my affection. With that, the woman reached into the folds of her garment and produced a small, intricately carved shell, its surface glimmering in the sunlight. Kwame's heart swelled with gratitude as he accepted the gift, his doubts melting away in the warmth of her smile. For days, Kwame and the mysterious woman spent their time together, walking along the shore and sharing stories of their lives. With each passing moment, Kwame found himself falling deeper under her spell, unable to resist the pull of her irresistible charm. But deep down, a nagging voice whispered in the back of Kwame's mind, reminding him of the danger that lurked beneath the surface. Try as he might, he couldn't shake the feeling that there was more to the woman's intentions than met the eye. One moonlit night, as Kwame and the woman sat beneath the stars, she turned to him with a glint of mischief in her eyes. My dear fisherman, 
she said, her voice low and seductive. I have a secret to share with you, a secret that will change your life forever. With that, the woman leaned in close, her breath warm against Kwame's ear, and whispered her true identity, the mermaid who had lured him with her song, intent on claiming him as her own. Shocked and betrayed, Kwame recoiled in horror, his heart heavy with regret. How could he have been so foolish as to trust her? In that moment, he realized the truth of the old adage, sometimes the most alluring offers hide the greatest dangers. With a cry of despair, the fisherman fled from the woman's side, racing back to the safety of his village. And though the memory of the mermaid haunted him for years to come, he never again allowed himself to be swayed by the promises of those who sought to ensnare him with their lies. And so, dear friends, let us heed Kwame's tale as a cautionary reminder that not all that glitters is gold and that sometimes the greatest dangers come from those we least expect. For in a world filled with enchantment and temptation, it is our wisdom and discernment that will guide us safely through the storms. If you don't want to miss exciting African folktales, make sure to subscribe. Till next time.